slow start. Red, I guess he doesn't have to shovel the walk anymore, at least for a while. Well, but what's it like to catch up to your brother and, I mean, live up to what he left behind in so many ways? Uh, I mean, it's very important, but, you know, as a family, all three of us are very uh, competitive, and so, you know, we always kind of joke around, you know, who's a better quarterback, so finally I can uh, I can put a ring in my name now, so I can finally uh, level out with someone, and I just got to get a state championship now. Connor, did you see the ball cross the line before it came out? What did you see on that play? I can't explain it. I really didn't know what was going on. I just knew I had to make a play. We needed one, and we needed that momentum swing. And I just went up for it and caught it. Best thing in the world. Coach, did you expect this game to become kind of a shootout, high pace as it was? Uh, we always have some great games with them. You know, we didn't uh, with the weather. We kind of looked maybe defensively early on, but uh, kids just both sides of the ball made plays. You know, number nine for them, and the two running backs were tremendous tonight. And uh, but these kids, uh, when we needed it. They always find a way to uh, make it happen. That's what's special about this group of kids. Can you speak a little bit about the play of both lines? Because generally, you didn't give up the big play, and that seemed to maybe try Al Equipa's patience on offense a little more than that. Absolutely. I told yesterday you know, when I was interviewed that, you know, that the key was not to look at Drayvon or Terry's back. And uh, you, we knew if we could just withstand and make them drive, that we'd get some stops. And we were bending, but we didn't break. And, uh, Giving up 60, 70 pounds on average on the line. So I was proud of those guys and Zach, who is a converted fullback for us. And uh, a kid that's just so, you know, talks about just you know, no selfishness at all. And, and uh, guys like him that uh, 210, 220 competing with 300 pound linemen, which would have uh, made us proud. Maybe Justin, how do you guys manage the cold weather and everything going on? I mean, logistically as far as keeping your hands warm, any of that stuff? Um, I really wasn't a factor. I mean, uh, in a game like this, you know, you kind of put all that out of the way. It's more about just making plays. So uh, I know for us it, was, it wasn't really a factor at all. I mean, for me, in the sidelines, I was pretty cold. But uh, <laughs> I had like eight damn warmers in my little pouch, and I had like three feet warmers on. So yeah, I ended up staying pretty warm. And the heaters on the sidelines were definitely nice. <laughs> Just for Justin, I, you had the ball go through your hands there. I like to that play in the first quarter, but then you bounced back with the touchdown. I, like, can you talk about that sequence a little bit right there? Um, you know, I try to put the uh, the first play out of my head pretty quickly. Um, you know, we talked about how there's big plays on both sides, and uh, so I try to put that one out of my head. But you know, in the back of my mind, you know, I want to make up for my team, and uh, you know, I think I, I was able to do it. Right, you guys were down by one with under four minutes to go. What were you telling you guys in the huddle on that last drive? I mean, we came in, we just came in the huddle, we talked about this time to be great. I mean, we live for these moments. It's, you wouldn't want to win it any other way. You know, fourth quarter comeback, uh, you know, we just we just came in together. We said we believe in ourselves, and let's go get the job done. Let's get a Whoopi Championship. Coach, talk about your defenses up the low D. I could, could move the ball, but you forced four or five turnovers on downs, especially as they got deep into your territory. So we very much a bad without break. Yeah, the one before the half was just so crucial. You know, we knew we had the ball coming out second half. We get a stop there. And you know, Zach, I believe, came in the hole and stuffed the kid and the rest of the defense just finished up. But uh, you're not going to stop these guys. We told them they're going to you know, they're going to get their yards. We just got to limit the big play. And uh, we got down and, you know, we bent. But with, uh, at crucial times, they made some big time stops for us. And we know offensively that we you will know, we'll score points and uh, just happen to score a few more than them tonight. Right against Al Equipa's defense, uh, and I know it's kind of a cliche to say this, but was the approach just take what they give you? Yeah, I mean, that's the approach every week. We knew they were going to be definitely the most athletic uh, defense we played, and probably the biggest up front, but, you know, we, we're a pretty confident group, and we knew we, could, they, we just take, took what they give us, that sooner or later, we're big plays going to open up, and, you know, we could just consistently drive down the field. How does it feel for you guys to be able to continue your season through everything that's gone on? It feels great. Yeah. Any other way. Yeah, we talked about you know maybe being the uh, the best team to ever come through South Fit and getting that uh, first state title, so that'd be, uh, that'd be surreal. Connor, that last interception you had, we'll talk about that play. What what were you seeing on that play? Uh, well, I knew they were going to go deep, so I tried to stay in my third, try to stay back, play off, and I saw him release the ball real high, real far away, and I just dove, and the best feeling when it just lands in your hand. I just want to say this young man here to my left didn't practice all week, and I told the staff yesterday I didn't think we'd have him tonight and today, and they just kind of looked at me with that gaze like, do we still have a chance if he doesn't play? And 
and I just I didn't know if he'd play. And uh, you know, when it came down to the fourth quarter, I mean, he's an unbelievable. I mean, they all are, but I just can't say enough of a kid that didn't practice, couldn't practice, but we couldn't walk, and just was able to uh, make tough. The toughness of this kid is just tremendous. Connor, how important was it for, for you to come out and play this game despite the injury? I knew I wasn't going to miss playing on Heinz. That was my dream since the beginning of the season, and nothing was going to stop me from stepping on that field. Coach, you mind a repeat question? I got here a little bit late, but uh, you stopped those guys, I think, four or five times on fourth down today. Just, just how important that was and how, and how did you do it? That's just, you know, you guys get into the football and uh, when you're outmanned, like I said, on a fourth and one and a half and you're outmanned by a 60 yard, it comes down to will, desire and, and understanding each other's responsibility. That's why this defense has just been so special for us and has gotten some headlines the last couple of weeks because they're just unselfish football players, do their job. I tell them all the time, they get tired of me saying, don't be a superhero. When you try to do that, you know, you're not going to, you're going to be out of position because everyone will be in position. And, and uh, you know, the line did a great job. The linebackers filled the run and were able to get those key stops, which was the turning point definitely in the game. When you saw the referee's arms go up there in that last touchdown, what's going through your I couldn't see him, so I was, you know, I was yelling to, to cover the ball, and, and uh, you know, I saw their side wasn't very happy with the replay on the board, but. Uh, it was just it was far away, the uh, position of the camera. So definitely was a cross, and uh, we'll take it. So. <laughs> <laughs> On a personal level, what does it mean to see this group of guys do the work for 13 weeks and, and get rewarded like this? It's, yeah, the hardest feeling is, is that last game. And last year in November, we was watch high, tremendous football team. And, and I just could see it in their eye, and could see it every week in the playoffs. I mean, this is just such a focused group of kids, and they're just special. I mean, they're just special kids, and uh, you know, they've done special things. And you know, to win two in four years is you have to have a good program. You every once in a while you get a team on a Mobile Championship, and then you don't hear from them for a few years. And these guys have put in the work to understand what it takes every year, each year in and year out, to be back to where we're at. And, uh, you know, to win two in four years is tremendous. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.